All right, young lady. I'm going to have a quick look around now for a safe place to push you. Now, you stay cool, or you'll be banging into something that'll make your hair turn white. And we wouldn't be wanting that, now, would we? Father, I found a book in the labyrinth. You've been sightseeing in there as well. Good Lord Almighty, girl. I have been needing to chain you to something. It has protective symbols. Maybe you could use them. Bless you for the thought, but I've enough protection from him above. And for that diagram to be any good, you'd have to draw it out and be sitting in the middle of it. And you know something? I've left all my colouring pens at home tonight. Now, you'll be doing me a big favour if you were to stay put before you bang into something bigger than you. Stay put. Right.
that stands before me, the first to visit me in my prison 700 years past. 700 years? All alone in a barn? Oh, those winter nights must have just flown by. Silence, ignorant heretic, or I behead you! Leave him be! <laughs> For the child has spirit. But what is that, when this island is littered with the bones of holy men? My gift to them for their spirit in obstructing me from claiming my rightful inheritance. And this inheritance, I wouldn't wonder, would be some way to explain why you're walking and breathing when you should be gone long past. The inheritance is the gift of eternal life contained within an ancient scroll, concealed by the Dullard Abbot and his cohorts, a scroll which draws forth pale demon blood through my veins. I am no longer man. I am one foot in earth, and one foot above the gaping abyss of Hades. So why stay on the island? Came for a holiday and fell in love with the scenery. Hold your yapping tongue, for want I clip it. Boils and blades plaster over this island and its treacherous inhabitants. For it was they and their pox-bidden abbot who plotted to incarcerate me in this dungeon hall for an eternity. I, Vladimir Kalita, who worshipped in the first Kremlin, who butchered the Swedes under Nevsky on the banks of the river Neva, incarcerated within this prison of flowing water. Running water? You're trapped here by running water? Demons cannot cross running water. Indeed, the abbot's final trick before I was transformed. And you 
shall find a way to shore up this stream, or your holy man shall be opened up and gutted like livestock.
done her job well, and I taste freedom for the first time in an aeon. Do you not now fear me? For you have served your purpose well, holy man. And for this, should I exercise mercy as a god to mind? Now, that'd be nice, but I'm not holding me breath. Yes, I shall spare you, and secure for you a fate worse than death. For when you pass beyond this world, heaven shall no longer welcome you, for you have released a demon. My faith will protect me from feckless lesser demons as yourself. Father! Ah, the child. I shall snuff out her life as a candle. The book from the library. done well, girl. And before you ask, I'll tell you. The book you've got, I myself was looking for it, but as I couldn't find it, assumed you had it. <laughs> and lucky you did. But how? If you name a demon, you have power over him. And you named him. <laughs> it's your shout, Lara. For this you shall burn for eternity! I shall drown you in a mire of your own entrails before I squeeze! Be quiet! What do you reckon we get out of this godforsaken place and go and get a nice cup of tea with Winston? Almost forgot. Would you be wanting to wave goodbye to our little friend? <laughs> Back to where you belong.